Welcome to QMI Solutions Understanding ERP CD. This presentation is structured so that you can follow the guided tour or go directly to subjects of interest by choosing a menu item above. Click on one of the topics to explore or click next to continue the tour. ERP stands for Enterprise Resource Planning. To understand what an ERP system is, let's look at the business objective. The high level objective for a business is to increase its net income, with net income equaling revenue from sales less the expenses incurred on those sales. Therefore, to increase net income, businesses can improve the customer service that will attract more customers and create loyalty among existing ones, lower the production cost through a better utilization of existing resources, lower the inventory cost through a better management of inventory cycles, decrease the distribution costs using smarter and more efficient ways of distribution. To help achieve all these objectives, an ERP system is a powerful tool that can harness the synergies of technology and sound business processes in a common platform. ERP systems are a packaged business software that allow a company to automate and integrate the majority of its business processes, including financials, planning, scheduling, capacity, inventory, order processing, purchasing, invoicing, and debtors. ERP shares common data and practices across the entire organization and produces and accesses information in a real-time environment. Physical goods move in and out of companies and individual companies need to keep track of these movements. ERP systems deal with the management of the flow of goods and services upstream to the suppliers and downstream to the customers. One of the most important issues in planning and controlling operations is managing the vast amount of information generated by the business. This information needs to be used in different areas of the business and enable the integration of those areas. So it is important that all relevant information that is spread throughout the organization is brought together regardless of geographical barriers. This information can be manipulated to inform planning and control decisions such as when activities should take place, where they should happen, who should be doing them, how much capacity will be needed, and so on. ERP grew out of an operations perspective from determining some of the basics of operations planning and control to the integration of information from all parts of the organization. In today's competitive world, companies are not only competing with other companies, supply chains are competing with other supply chains. ERP systems assist in the supply chain integration to help smooth the flow of goods and information across the supply chain. This integration enhances the competitive position of the supply chain. Supply chain management connects different organizations in the supply chain. For example, retailers are connected with distributors who are connected to manufacturers who are connected with their suppliers. In recent years, ERP vendors have developed broader suites that provide integrated support across supply chain processes, such as linking inventory replenishment and transportation management. In particular, the use of internet-based communications between customer, suppliers and other partners in the supply chain has opened the possibility of web-based integration. ERP software, among other things, combines the data of formerly separate applications. This makes the worry of keeping numbers in synchronization across multiple systems disappear. Some of the most common software packages that companies use today to manage business processes are shown here. ERP effectively standardizes and reduces the number of specialist software packages required within organizations. In short, 
ERP helps to integrate the data in an organization under one common platform. The purpose of a common platform is not only to ensure transparency, but also to facilitate in the tracking of information regarding individual orders, such as status reports, dispatch, and so on. Most, if not all, parts of the business can be managed using one software package and one database that is visible to all relevant personnel within the company. If a company succeeds in this, it will achieve significant benefits from ERP. ERP systems offer distinct advantages as they lower operating costs, reduce cycle times and increase customer satisfaction. This study dates from 1998, but the results are still relevant to implementations carried out today. It shows that there are some unexpected shortfalls in the actual benefits that these systems brought to the surveyed organizations. However, those organizations also received some significant unexpected benefits. In particular, time-based benefits like on-time delivery, faster financial close cycles, and improved order management cycle time. Many companies find that they have to change the way they organize their operations in order to fit in with ERP systems by modifying some of their existing business processes to match those of the ERP functionality. So why do companies invest in ERP systems? One benefit is the prospect of turning the company's information systems into a smooth running and integrated machine. Examples of which would be centralized operations, multi-language and currency capabilities, lower inventory and production costs, improved planning, tighter integration of production with sales and distribution, tax advantages through improved asset management, removal of existing legacy systems, time saved in data entry and reporting, increased performance and results measurement, creates discipline and standards across the business. The other main reason why organizations justify the investment in an ERP system is that even if no significant advantage was to be achieved by implementing an ERP system, the company will be placed at a disadvantage by not investing in it because their competitors are doing so. Although an ERP project can bring significant benefits to an organization, if not planned and executed properly, such an initiative can actually increase costs, decrease morale, increase frustration and show limited business benefits. It is important to acknowledge that in the past some ERP implementations have run into problems or even failed due to the following wrong practices. Insufficient education this is the most common complaint when implementing an ERP system. Education is absolutely critical. It forms the foundation for individuals and groups to change habits, procedures and culture. Sometimes people don't understand the basic concepts of the system. The best way to overcome this issue is with extensive education, followed by hands-on training. Ownership is the critical factor for the project to deliver its expected benefits. Successful implementations are almost guaranteed when people in the organization take responsibility for the outcomes. An ERP system needs data in order to perform well. As with any management program, garbage in equals garbage out. If the ERP system is being fed incomplete or inaccurate data, trouble can quickly...